Today on Hoop De Doodle, we're going to make a frame jig. And this is more of like a universal frame jig in that I can use it for both motorcycle frames and bicycle frames. And I got this idea from Chop Swords, which I'll link in the description of this video because they make a lot of accessories and things for this frame jig idea. And those things are all CNC machined and it'll make your life a lot easier. And then doing it from scratch the way I'm doing it. But I am trying to save a dime. So, you know, the hoop do do the way. All right, so I'm gonna make a jig and it's gonna be awesome. I've got a couple two by three 11 gauge rectangular steel tubes here. And then I back here, I've got a two by two 11 gauge steel tube. And together, those are gonna make up the main part of my jig. Let's get started on the legs for the jig, which involves this two by two. All right, so basically I'm gonna need two four inch pieces and then two 20 inch pieces to make up the legs. Let's start with the four inch ones. Shall we? All right, I've got these guys. These are gonna be the main legs that sort of, the jig is gonna fall in this way and then these are gonna be perpendicular to the jig and stick out to stabilize everything. So I want to put some little feet on here and I'm gonna use some basic bolts here, some 3 8 inch bolts and I'm gonna run them down through here so that I can put a socket on this thing and adjust the height up and down. And so to do that I want a, I want a bolt. I need to drill a hole through here and then we'll, and then we'll weld a bolt here ultimately. First I wanna identify where I'm gonna drill this thing. This is a two inch pipe. So one inch is right in the center then. Take one of my bolts here. I'm gonna want this bolt. So if I stick this guy about half an inch down, that'll work. That should work out nice. All right, and then I've got a center punch here to, to uh, mark these holes so that the drill doesn't wander. Now the concept here is to have these legs sit in this orientation. We'll have the little feet, the adjustable feet that can go up and down like that on either end. And then this guy is gonna sit in the middle and be perpendicular like that. And then this will be sandwiched between those two two by threes. And so my next step is to weld this guy onto here. Put a weld on either side. So I want that perfectly in the center and to mark this guy out, I'll start with this guy. And this is going to be, it is four inches. So I want, I need two inches in the middle. So we're gonna mark it at three inches and one inch. And that is approximately, I should be able to see that. and know that I've got it centered. I want to stick it on here. I should then be able to see these lines and center that up. And then this guy here, we need the center of that as well. So we got a 22, 11 is in the middle. Should be right there. All right, and then line up my centers. Uh, Cause my weld, I want this thing to have no weld on it. Basically I want that to sit in here. It'll be sandwiched. And I want the weld to be on this side. So I've cleaned up that side over there. And now I need to mark, I'm gonna mark the center of this as well. So that would be at one inch. So there's the center of that marked. And then I'm gonna do the same over here, basically. There's my center there. Do the same on this side. And now I should be able to just line up, line up those two lines basically like that, and then everything should be centered in right where I want it. All right, 
right, so I've got both of my little legs sort of tacked on here. This stuff is tacked onto the leg. Now my next step, I've got my bolts. My bolts right here that I have taken the zinc coating off by soaking them in vinegar for a couple days. So we're ready to move with these things. So my next step is to weld one on top of there. And then we've got one on each side here and here to do. So let's see if we can get those welded on. Take the nut off the bottom that's sort of holding this thing in place, helping to stabilize this, everything, and align everything. And there it is, I've got a small bead on either side there that should hold it in nicely. This will allow me, because it's on the inside of the pipe, it should allow me to lower this thing flat onto the ground if I so choose or so desire. And if not, I can thread that little bolt through and, and level everything out that way. All right, so I've got a quarter inch plate here and it is four inches wide. And I'm going to, I've got it marked out here. Basically these little corners here all represent spots for my jig. I'm gonna use this. I need to make a couple of these to have to make basically sandwiching plates. I'm gonna put three eighths inch threaded rod through these corners. And with two of these plates, I can sandwich the whole jig together. All right, then I've got my threaded rod here and I wanna cut this so that it fits this, these guys down here. So. All right, and now with that cut off, I'm gonna take my grinder and I'm going to just bevel the edge here so that this nut will slide on and off very easily. And now with that beveled, the nut should come off real easy on this thing. Just like that. And then it should go on just as easy. All right, I've got four of these cut now. Let's go see if my idea works here. Then jam it underneath this guy. Uh -huh. And the leg goes underneath, and this gets sandwiched in between these two guys here. There we go. All right, so here's my little foot. And in the center of there, we've got, we got this little nut that we welded on there. And to hold that in place, steady thing, I've got this little plate that goes over the top of that. One of these guys threads through there. I need some washers for this. And then that helps to lock the whole thing down. And then we've got the little foot here. On the each end, we've got the nut that we welded on. And we can thread one of these bolts on here. And if the jig itself is not level, we can help level it out with this. That raises it up off the ground. It helps us to get everything level if need be. All right, I've got my frame pieces up here on the jig. And now it's time to set up the jig to attach the little pieces on each upright here. So let's do that. These are little half inch pipe. They have three eighths inside diameter. It's like perfect for these things. So I've just got two little pieces on either side as spacers.
This 3 8 inch bolt goes right in the dropouts and the rear of the frame here where the wheel, the axle would have been. All right, so up here, we've got another set of plates. Go on like that. So, and then we got this guy, which is a little bit longer. The nuts there. Our fork goes up on here. Slots out of this guy, and tighten some stuff down. All right, so then you can kind of angle this, tighten it down a little bit more, really get it where you want it. Uh, at the moment, I'm not really sure. This could go up or down. This is gonna, the rake of this will probably change, all that stuff. So, I mean, the rake's probably gonna be something more like that. All right, so I hope you like this video. I think this is the best value frame jig that I have found on the internet. And even if you buy all the accessories from Chop Source, this is still really cheap. So far, I've spent right around 100 bucks probably on materials to make to get to this point where I'm at now. And that is because the metal itself, being such heavy gauge, heavy duty metal, it's not cheap. So there's a decent expense just in that. So that's it for now. And at some point in the future, in a future build, you'll probably see this frame jig come out again. At that point, we may have made some other accessories for this thing. So I'll let you know if I come up with some cool accessories if people really like this video, the frame thing is really popular. I'll make sure I update you when I make accessories for it. So thanks for watching, keep on wrenching and doing cool stuff. We'll see you next time.